Hi, welcome to Chili's. Today we're having turtle soup. <laughs> God, I'm stupid. So, as you can probably tell, I'm drawing a turtle today. I'm drawing my favorite D&D boyo, Yordle. And I'm also going to be talking about him. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat snoring. <laughs> so, Yordle is a fucking idiot. He, he's a turtle druid. Let's start off with that. And he has some pretty decent stats, like constitution, strength, dexterity, they're all like plus twos. Wisdom, he's at 20 right now. But intelligence, this fucker's out of four. <laughs> he didn't start off that way. He originally had an intelligence of nine. And over the course of the campaign, he lost it. The first time we lost it, we didn't have our sheets, so our DM let us make new ones. And he gave me the chance to lower his intelligence and raise wisdom. And I fucking took it. So that brought him down to a six. And then after we beat this djinn, this djinn granted us these magical items. And the one I got... We called it the Ring of Selective Hearing, and it boosted his his wisdom by two, I believe, but then lowered his intelligence by two. So he's at a grand old four. And he cannot take off this ring. He does not know he's wearing it. Like, someone else has to take it off of him, and they haven't done that. So for now, he is eternally dumb, and I love him so much. And he gets us into so much trouble. <laughs> I pre He's pretty much impulsive, and I just make him do whatever my brain comes up with right at that moment. So that has gotten us into a battle with ghouls that almost fucking killed us. Because I went looking for traps, and when I didn't find any, he just yelled, NO TRAPS! But they were ghouls. Ghouls don't count as traps, apparently. So, yeah. Recently, I had to take... Well, he had to take fire damage. Because he ate a carpet that was on fire. Yeah. Wasn't what I was trying to do. I, I was trying to eat the carpet. Yes. But our sorceress lit it on fire. And I just... He didn't think. He doesn't fucking think! He's also punched a puzzle instead of trying to solve it. And he had to take damage from that. He just... He does shit. And he collects shit. He collects bones. That's his main thing. Well, his main collecting thing. So he currently has two human skulls. The foot bones of a human, and 17 dragon teeth. And he used to have 21 dragon teeth, but he traded some of them for an agate. And he used that agate to awaken a tree, who I have named Ert, tree backwards. I know, I'm so clever. And when you awaken a tree, if you did not know this, they get an intelligence of 10. So this tree companion of his, that he has complete control over for the next 30 days, because I just got him, is two and a half times smarter than him. <laughs> I'm not sure if I could like use him for intelligence rolls yet. I'll have to look into it. But holy fuck. <laughs> and his strength is really good too. I think he has a 20 in strength, or like a 19 in strength for Ert. So... I got a good- I got a good tree companion, and I'm gonna do my best to take care of him. Because after 30 days, he can run away if he wants. And I really don't want that to happen. He's so cute! <laughs> uh... What the fuck? That was a weird-ass bird. So... Yeah, Yordle- he's just a fucking dumbass. I love him so much, but like... He can't do shit. <laughs> oh, that's what I was gonna say. 
Carrots. He is... Somehow Carrots became his thing. And I, I'm not mad about it. But just... That's his only motivator. It's Carrots. <laughs> and he's really good at growing them. He goes around, like, before the campaign. He was pretty much a hermit wandering around and yelling at farmers how to grow their carrots better. That was his life. And my other fucking campaign mates, they just used carrots to get him to do things. Like, up until now, we were, like, on a certain track trying to do things. And the whole time, Yordle thought this it was for the benefit of carrots. Shut up, Izzy! You're not going outside! Ugh. Sorry. And every time carrots come up, he goes for them. Like, I almost, almost won a battle of wills with this deity because, uh, <laughs> um, he was trying to tell us to kill our other companion mate's gods. And I was just like, but what does this have to do with carrots? Like, that's all I fucking care about, bitch. Why do I care? But he convinced me saying that Bahamut wanted to destroy all carrots and cause worldwide famine. So I was like, oh, fuck. Got it. Got to save the carrots, bitch. <laughs> God. Yordle, he's just a fucking dumbass. And I love him so much. Uh, our campaign has just slowed down a lot. Um, it's pretty much open world right now, and I'm gonna try and give Yordle a fucking carrot farm, because we're settling down for a while, and he deserves it. He's been through a lot. <laughs> He's such a good boy. He deserves the world. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is a weird rant about my son. I love him so much. You're probably going to hear more coherent stories about him in the future. And I'm also streaming tonight. I'm going to try. Um, probably around 7 p.m. PST. Yeah. I'll be on Twitch. Artsy Rosie. I'll leave a link in the description and I'll be making an announcement on my Twitter. So, yeah. Bye.